the internet has not been helpful today. So we are lucky to be lined up with bugs, but we got here. An interesting day was had by all. It is another Monday, and I did that this morning. Swan dived into a black coffee just to make sure that I knew what I was actually doing. So here's our usual collection of logos. You'll notice in the middle, there's a new one, new package that includes options for two pan and T drones, et cetera. And we'll have a slide about that in a few minutes. We'll have a quick talk about what's going on there. And we will get amongst this, thanks to our friends at Zanique and Sophia. So here we are, the 22th of May, 2023. You know, it's almost the middle of the year already. How does it actually get there that fast? Not quite sure. But anyway... Uh, yes, Martin, it was on the Sophia website, those specials. We will talk about that shortly. Everyone goes forward together, our tagline. I love to talk to people about that because we do go out of our way to make sure nobody gets left behind. Remember, folks, we are expressing our view as affiliates only. This is an education process. It is not a sales venture. We try and help you with information that we've discovered and we will not ever give you financial advice because that's not what we're about. There are some opportunities coming up shortly where you may or may not be able to interact as a representative of a securities company, but we'll see. We haven't got all the details on that yet. We will save that up until we know what we're talking about. We will touch on some of it this evening and more of it later in the week because we're going to have to put together a package of information for people as we move forward. So here's the specials that are on the website now, on the Sophia website. There's another row of them, but basically it's a way to split the minting shares into bite-sized chunks. So instead of spending 9.98 euros for a T-drone hub to get that level of minting and then another 9.98 for a two-pan hub to get that level of minting, this way you can spend 9.98 and get a half two-pan and a half T-drone hub. Now, if you were to buy those two half hubs individually, that would be about 1,400 euros from memory. And that's a chunk of money. That saves you a goodly amount of cash. And what it does is it spreads out the tokens that you're minting without you taking a financial hit because you only want a half and half, something like that. It's actually really good. I've got some questions in with them uh, to see if people can actually start with that. I'd be pretty bloody happy if they can, but we'll uh, we'll see. I haven't got an answer back yet. Okay, let's move right along. This will this will be a good package for us to come back and talk about next week after we get through all of this new information because there's a whole lot of information out there about the vending pool because it's just gone live and about um, where it's gone to and what's happening with it long term. So on that note, the vending pool is open, but it is not XPay Bank. It is now embedded in the tupan.io website, which was what I thought they were going to do in the first place. And you can now transfer two pans to the vending pool, and we'll talk about how to do that because now I'm going to show you this video. I need a couple of minutes long. It's how to register for the vending pool. Now, the problem with it is any time that you look at a page, 
it's got information on it that's in Portuguese. So, Martin, I'm not sure if you brushed up on your Portuguese to do this. The commentary is in English, but also they're talking about using uh, MetaMask, which is not easy to set up to do what we're doing. Uh, I did it on my computer some time back, and it ended up... <laughs> that's funny, Martin. <laughs> Martin says he's all over that Portuguese. I set up MetaMask on my computer, attempting to uh, speed up the caching of the tokens, and it took me 26 emails to get them to give me the right information because they kept leaving bits out. But I do have it hooked up now, and I will be using it for a few things, but not this. Let's have a quick look at this. Top of the morning to Pond community. So welcome to this Swift tutorial. It's gonna be very fast, very straightforward. I'm gonna aid you and answer some questions about the vending pool, right? First of all, what you're gonna do is click on the vending pool page. It's going to transfer you into this page. Uh, there is a lot of information about, about the vending pool, so you can check it out before you put your tokens into the wallet, right? you have decided to join the vending pool. Click this button and you'll be greeted with this, with this page. Remember guys, it's 10,000 TCT tops. So what this means is for every person, right? We're going to only accept 10,000 TCT. If you don't um, fill in your information, will not liquidate your TCT, okay? So make sure you do it. So here we have the option of uh, copy pasting the wallet or reading the QR code if you are using the normal app or um, MetaMask over your cell phone, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy paste it, right? So I'm going to transfer my two puns, right? So for example, I have 350 here. So I'm going to send my two puns, right? I'm going to choose a random number, like 100 two puns. Uh, guys, just make sure you uh, have your Zanik, right, on your wallet in order for you to pay the gas. It doesn't have any other taxes or anything. It's just it's a, the gas tax, right? There we go. So guys, after you transfer, right, you can check here, for example, in your activity, and then you can see right after status, uh, check the Explorer, right? You're going to be sent to this page here, which is going to have the information about your transaction. So this is the hash number, right? So you're going to copy paste it here. You're going to screenshot this uh, screen. If you are on desktop, if you are on normal applications, there are other ways to check the hash, but uh, you're going to add the hash here. You're going to fill in with your information, right? Uh, how many TCTs you sent. Remember guys, the email is just the, e the preferred email you want to um, receive the message about the vending pool uh and there's no uh connection to zephyr okay so it can be any email and no for now there is no uh confirmation via the email right it's going to be confirmed in the page so you are going to uh press the captcha join vending pool and there you have it you're done, right? So after you inserted all this info, you can just return, you're good, and we are done. Now, two small issues with that. 10,000 two pans is the maximum at the moment. I understand they've had all sorts of issues with 
getting this started. I love the fact that they're letting everyone put some in, but they're, uh, they've got a limit on it. Now, if you're wondering why they're doing stuff like that, if you've paid attention, you know it's been about a month that XPay Bank has been telling us how to get registered. I'm unaware of anyone that's actually really um, got through all the stuff on XPay Bank, and I'm not sure uh, where it's going to go to with them or whether it'll stay with 2pan.io. Um, Malcolm, they're talking about 120 days, the 2pans be locked in the, in the wallet. Um, not sure if they're going to start paying out because I've read also that they'll start paying out as soon as they're moving the contracts into North America. But yeah, I've, I'd expect 120 days just to be on the safe side. So that's the first thing. Next thing, they're displaying the MetaMask wallet. Now, if you get into the Telegram channel from 2pan.io and you'll see that he specifically states that you have to do it from your Nomo wallet. I've since gone back to him and asked questions about how we get around people that don't have the Nomo wallet and they've now admitted, oh, well, actually, you can even send it from Bitmart. However, whatever blockchain address you send the tokens from becomes the user. So if I've sent 10,000 tokens from my Nomo app, I can't send 10,000 tokens for... Mr. Penfolds from my app and put his details in. The system recognizes the from address as the user. So be a little bit careful if you've got multiple people in the family. Uh, use the uh, computer version and the Nomo app on your phone for the other one. I'm reasonably sure you can send it directly from Safir as well. I think I read that somewhere. So you might get three options there. But this is all so new that it's still got some squeaky bits. As I said, the Telegram channel suggests using only the Nomo app. It's pretty simple to do it that way. But if you do that, remember, you also have to have Zanique tokens to affect the transfer for gas fees. Now, the gas fees are tiny, but you have to have some tokens for it to work. Now, I'll do my best over the next 24 hours to gather up a wad of them so that we can uh, share them around and um get the transactions done because it's important that those of us that want to cash out some of this have the opportunity to turn it into some cash now and uh, we'll we'll do the best we can to help you achieve that. Can transfer from Bitmart, but from Bitmart, the gas fee is 54 two pans. So, it's a, it's a matter of working out the best way for what you have. Uh, Martin, I don't know. I thought it said ZSC on his MetaMask wallet, but don't care because I'm not going to use MetaMask. It's fraught with danger. So we'll be addressing the supply of those Zanique tokens this week. Now, that were just a few small issues. Now I'm going to show you another one. The QR code does not read with the Nomo app. It comes up as invalid. So I really do wish they had have tested this because they've done it with different software, a different way. They haven't used the QR code. They've just said you can scan it, but it doesn't work. So... The only thing you can do is copy the code at the bottom. That is the blockchain address. 
So that works just as well and works smoothly, quickly. That's how I did it. And it was pretty easy to do. But I usually prefer to scan the QR code just because that means I haven't buggered up the copy, paste, etc. Fat fingering on a phone is relatively easy. Next thing is your name. Uh, it does not have to be the exact name that's in your um, Sophia website. It just needs to be your name. So they can put a name on the paperwork. Your email address does not have to match your Sophia website. It's got to be an email address that they can contact you on in the event they're ready to pay you out and they have questions for you like, what currency do you want to receive this in? That's a really important question. The next one is how many TCTs do you want to send? The maximum is 10,000. Now, if you happen to send 20, the dude in Telegram reckons it'll be okay. They'll only cash out 10,000 and they'll hold the rest and either return it or put it in the next round. And the hash key, you saw him talk about the hash key and what it's from. And don't forget, you've got to upload a screenshot of the transaction. Now, it's not too difficult, but what we might do is a, a Zoom call this week to actually go through this process so we can do some hand-holding and try and get as many people through this as possible. And the robot button. Don't forget, you have to tick the robot button. Because if you don't, it will not go anywhere. So key things there. Your email address does not have to match your Sophia account. It can be your preferred email address. Uh, you can only put 10,000 tokens in and don't forget the hash code and upload a screenshot and tick the I'm not a robot box. So if you get halfway through and accidentally send it without something, just do the same thing again. I've already checked. Uh, if you do it again and everything is in the right place, it'll just go through as it is. It won't be a drama. So anybody got any questions on that bit before we go further? Can you organise a day with our group at Rob? Uh, probably, yes. So we've got a few things to talk through. We'll do a few hand-holding experiences, uh, but this is really rolling along. I can see this long-term becoming a cash cow for us. Once they get rolling, I'm going to quote you some numbers in a minute on what they're actually doing with the carbon credits in America and how big that market is. So when you do a NOMO transfer, you are going to touch the two-pan community to token location there, and it will open up the wallet with your two pens in it. You can see the balance there. It's 54,936 in that wallet. And below that, you've got the send button. So that will be the button you touch to actually transfer the tokens. You get to the send button, it'll say, what's the address you want to send it to? First thing it says is how many. So you put in 10,000 or less, whatever number you want to send. And then you put in the address that you're sending it to. And that's pretty much all the information you need, as long as you've got some Zanique tokens. Then when you look at your history, which is just below the send button, you slide the screen up and you'll see your history. And that's what you need to get the hash code. Because... When you look at the last one that you should have there in the send file, you'll see that that's 10,000 tokens. 
when you touch that, it will give you the hash code. And if you're on a phone, you can hold your finger on it, copy it, paste it into the, the registration. If you're on a computer, this is a screenshot off the computer version of Nomo. You can just copy it and paste it into the form and you're pretty much done. Now you see down the bottom, it says network fee zero. Well, that's because it's about, uh, I don't know, Jim, are you on the call? Might not be. It's about three ten thousandths of a cent to do it. But you have to have something in the wallet for it to work, even though it's that small. Um, it's a ridiculously small amount, which I love. It's great that we finally got some blockchain tokens that we can move around without having to mortgage your bank. Um, they've they've gone to they've gone to Ethereum version two and haven't changed the way it's priced. There you go, Doug and Jenny. So that's uh, Malcolm, slightly different. Yep. No, it's a very, very small fee. That's 32 ten thousandths of a cent. That's pretty good. Uh, how do we know what value the tokens be, will be when we do the cashing in? The floor level in the vending pool is 3.69 cents. Now, I know there's people on this call that have bought tokens for a dollar, uh, 1.1 cents. 1.3 cents, really, really cheap. So that's going to be a really nice uptick on what it costs to what you get paid out. And we're hoping that that continues on as time rolls along. So that's where we're at. And if you have any difficulty with that, we will organise some Zoom calls or as Jenny suggested, we might have to meet a group of people somewhere and we'll make it all happen. So it's a nice opportunity that we've got and it's finally coming to fruition. It's taken a lot longer than we hoped, but it's getting here, loving it. Okay, what are we all here about? Zanik is the blockchain. Sophia is the people system. Those two companies together are changing the world because they're adapting crypto technology to real-world assets. I really like it. And had confirmation from Zanik this week, last week, whatever week that was, that the gold and silver tokens are on the boil as we speak. We'll do more conference calling about that in the next couple of weeks. So Tupan, that's the core of the value that we have today. Avanoc we've got coming up, it's developing. T-Drone underway. City. There are a number of projects here in Australia based on real estate, and I'm figuring that they will follow that roadmap that City has got. Regardless, the movie system, like that, our metal we just talked about, and now we've got AU Green, Tupan AU Green, and they, they write it a number of different ways, so I'm never really sure which way it's supposed to be. But this is something that we're going to talk about tonight because there's some news on that and how it's going to work. I'm still getting my head around it but the numbers are eye-watering that they're talking. So why is that all important? Because tokenizing assets are really going to change the world that we live in today. So remember this slide, really proud of it. It's possible to invest to benefit the planet and also make money. This guy has really worked this out. I listened to him talk through how the tokens come together and all that sort of stuff, and I'm thinking, 
you must have been, well, I think, isn't there a, there's a drug that they get out of a tree in the Amazon called ayahuasca. I think it comes from the Amazon. And apparently it gives you some fairly supernatural type brain power for a while when you consume it. Or maybe he's been on that stuff. Okay. Here is a screenshot from this video. You can see the link there. I will include the link in the description on the recording on YouTube. It's quite long and he's quite difficult to grasp when he gets in areas where his English isn't too good, he's really hard to listen to. But the long and the short of it is they're talking about dealing with a project that the United Nations started some years ago, and they've got these SDGs, which are called Sustainable Development Goals. And the roadmap is to get over the next 50 years uh, to get all businesses in the world on sustainable development. And how successful do I think they'll be? Yeah, I'm not too sure. It's really difficult to get a group as big as the United Nations and get them all to go in one direction. And, in fact, I've heard it referred to as being something like herding cats. And if you've ever tried to do that, you ought to know it's pretty damn hard. Uh, we've already seen ructions in the last few weeks where the G7 summit, which is in Japan as we speak, up until last year it was the G8. One of those countries has been rather bad and has been kicked out because of the war in Europe. So it'll be interesting to see how long... Russia can sustain that. They're being isolated on almost every front. And they're buying refrigerators to get the chips out of the refrigerators to put in weapons and vehicles for the war because they're on a blacklist that can't supply them with chips, apparently, to build weapons. So what they're doing is buying refrigerators and pulling them apart. Apparently, it's the same chip. Who'd have thought? Okay, Forest AU Greens started in 2019. Just amazing when you look at it. United States Securities and Exchange Commission. First registered and regulated token in the world. That's a big call. It is a very big call, given that um, the other one is still in court. Gave up following it because the court case has been going on for years. So this is an SEC-regulated token, which means there are very strict requirements around who can buy Tupan AU. Very strict. A, you're supposed to be a professional investor. B, you can be an institutional investor. That means you um, work for a bank and you're investing on behalf of the bank. Or you can be an individual investor. Now, if you're an individual investor, you must have $1 million in assets. And if you look at where that's all going, you, you used to be able to Put things on the form, as I asked the question years ago when I was doing stuff like this, you'd fill the form out and send it off to the guy and he'd go, yep, that's all good, tick. And there was no cross-referencing. So you could say I've got a million dollars in assets and 999,000 of it's um, a briefcase I've got with folded up newspaper in it. I don't know what the links are now, but I figure it's a lot stricter than it used to be. The minimum amount for an individual is 10,000 US, I believe. Now, this is coming to market in two formats. So the first one, which we'll talk about in a minute, is direct with uh, 2PAN AU. And the second one is where individuals can purchase 
at a $10,000 minimum uh, from an agent, basically. So it's changing all the time. All of these rules change regularly in America. You can't get too stuck on it. Here's a screenshot. The primary market is a minimum purchase of $160,000, and the secondary market is $10,000. So they're two very distinct markets. Now, I'm going to give you some information because I only have some information, and we'll get more as we go on. So for the primary market, you've not only got to be a sophisticated investor, you've got to be accredited as well. And that's another process you have to go through. Um, other than that, it's as tricky as it can be. If you come across someone who need, needs this, however, okay, here's why this is very attractive. This is their business model spelling out how the tokens for Forest AU will be um, dispensed, I suppose is the word to use. And you can see that this compensation number, 2.46 billion USD, is already built into their model. What they haven't worked out yet is how that's going to work in the Sophia system. So basically, near as I can work out, 40% of whatever a company spends goes into our compensation plan. So that means if you give it to somebody and they buy it, uh, you basically get 10% commission on 40%, so that's 4% of the total. And when you're talking big numbers like they are, 4% ought to work out into a reasonably healthy chunk. And I think it's well worth paying attention to. When you look at these numbers at the bottom, that's what the price of their tokens are projected to be. So you can see they think they're going to get up to $6,480 per token. Six, seven, no, wait a minute, there's 16, 1.6 cents. So $6.48. How about that? That sounds like looking at those numbers, really hard the way they write it. So $6.48 per token. That's a big step up from 1.6 cents. Very big step up. So the numbers are substantial. I think they'll, they'll, uh, like the way this guy talks and does things. I can see it working. And yes, it is a euro decimal point. Now, this is just a bit of a promo video of the AU Green platform. Do we have sound? I bet I didn't click that. You're looking at a gold mine when it comes to investments. Literally. This time, cutting-edge technology allows funds applied to become high-impact sustainable investments. And your investments are based on real assets, using circular bioeconomy to extract natural resources consciously. Tokenization is now a reality. It allows the value of its assets to be secured by a reserve of gold held in nature, without the need for extraction or negative consequences that come with it. Gold is chosen for this because it appreciates every year, not just because it is a limited resource, but because it ensures the value of your assets in the future. Now, you are very close to an asset that is even more valuable than any noble metal or precious stone. It is another to present Tupin All Green, the Green Gold.
This Forest So Green token is an opportunity for you to participate in a green fund, making profitable investments in projects that are already saving the planet. Doing good and investing in the future is something natural. Circular bioeconomy projects make the most advanced financial engineering and passion for life go hand in hand. O Green follows the true SDG of the new digital economy. We're going to put the devastation of tropical habitats and contamination of soil, air, and water behind us. With its capital protected in a blockchain network, O Green eliminates the interference of intermediaries and inhibits security risks. It is a decentralized resource, adding an extra layer of security and financial freedom for you. Investments in reforestation and direct actions in the Amazon and region improve the quality of life of tens of thousands of families. Lives are being saved, food chains are being promoted, environmental assets are being monitored, and future generations will thank us for every drop of hope. There is a rewarding feeling knowing your funds are being directed to a profitable yet environmentally aware asset which is unmatched. In philanthropy, you did it only once and never saw your capital again. Philanthropy had an impact on society, nature and the future, but nothing expressive. Philanthropy is commendable, but it's not the most effective way to save the planet. To achieve all 17 UN Sustainable Development Goals, it's also necessary to reach 200 trillions of dollars by 2050 to finance each of these goals to enable this project's maintenance in a long term so that the implemented solutions allow for a regenerative world. With Tupen O Green, the same investment can significantly impact the environment in which you and your loved ones live. All this while you still have your capital and assets that appreciate over time. The three P's is the concept behind our course of action. Planet, people and profit. We deal with the problems but focus on prosperity. That's our vision of the future. There's no future to be seen on the horizon of a destroyed planet. What will the quality of life of the people you love be like in 10 or 20 years if you don't act now? You are about to be a part of an ongoing social environmental transformation. Protect your capital and see your tube and all green tokens appreciate while you contribute to a better life for our planet. Helping the planet no longer means giving up capital and profit. We have more than enough reasons to act right now. Invest in green gold, humanity's most valuable asset. Two pen all green. Investing in the future is our nature. There you go. They've produced some really classy promo material. So I think he's going to pull it off. Just a quick run through on the rest. I actually did change this graph this week because the numbers down the bottom change, but that growth curve is just solid, isn't it? Amazingly solid. Um, enjoying watching that continue on. Now, thoughts and prayers going to people in the Ukraine. That's still going on. I hope they get to an end of that soon. How is our world going? This dude, Florian Heiser, lives right here in Brisbane doing a report on nuclear power in Finland has lowered their power bills by 75%. Got to consider it. And our wonderful, wonderful reporter from the US Fed saying that uh, they're just about a bank crisis in everything and your money's not safe. And this is the same thing from Stansby Research saying, Banks are making it very difficult for people to move even moderate amounts of cash. So we've got bankrupt banks, crypto assets failing, but if you've got Zanique assets, they're asset backed. And turmoil in the fin sector, yep, gold is going to go where? Luckily, we have great news on our platform. And I think, Martin, a couple of weeks ago, maybe you mentioned that Maybe the AU is gold, and it appears that uh, after our conversations with him about tokenizing 
the gold that was in the ground, that's how he's incorporated it into AU Green is the the asset behind that platform. So great idea. What now? Talk to people. Explain why you're doing it. It's free to add a wallet. You can start minting from 100 euros and up. It is getting more and more um, available. You can join. You can join and now with one of these packages that give you many options. So the bottom line, everything we've ever known as normal has gone fishing and it is not coming back. So everything we ever talked about is coming true as we speak. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me at the end. I was going to have to run through that anyway to put it on the recording. So anyone got any questions? We don't have many people here, so we can spend a bit of time jawing about questions if you'd like. You can unmute. It's much easier than typing, particularly when you're a really bad typist like me. But I have a new Dell keyboard, which is very cool to use. Still confused about the token to pay for network fees. Yes, um, Martin, in the Nomo app, if you move Zenit coins or two pan tokens, you need Zenit tokens to pay the gas fee. So it's really, it's cheap, it's stupid cheap, but you do have to have some. So when I get my hands on a few more, this week, I'll send some out. Okay, everybody, that'll do us for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you on the golden beaches of the world. Have a great night.